Hey everyone, so today's video is going to be my favourites for the month of January. I've been meaning to film this video for a little bit, but I've been really distracted with other things, other projects, all that kind of stuff. So here we are today filming it. So I'm going to get started off with the non-beauty favourites. My first non-beauty favourite would have to be my favourite TV show for the month. Um, I've been watching a lot of TV because in January is kind of when all of the shows start back up again after the um, Christmas break, so I've been watching a lot of that, but the favourite show that I watch would definitely have to be Death Note. It is an anime, so a lot of you might not might not be interested in it, but it's quite a dark show, but I really, really did enjoy it. Um, it's basically like a book falls from the sky, and if you write somebody's name in it, they die, basically, is the moral of the TV show, but it, I really did like it, and I thought it was interesting, and I love the animation. Alright, so my favourite game for the month of January, I do have two, one of them is a game called Animal Crossing, a lot of you guys probably won't know what that is, but I was playing that during, t like, near to the end of the month, but another game that I've absolutely been loving, I have it on my iPad, I'll just pull it up for you just a second. It's called Clash of Clans, I don't know how well you guys can see, but it's basically, if you guys have ever played Age of Empires, where you kind of make soldiers and go and attack other encampments. It's kind of similar to that and it just looks like this and it's free if you guys want to get it. Um, but you kind of just build up your little camp and you harvest things to build other things and all sorts of stuff. It is a really fun game. It's, you know, if you're not really into games you probably won't be into this but I really do like it. Alright, so on to the beauty favourites. I don't actually have that many this month because as you guys know um, if you've been watching me for a while. In the summertime I don't really wear that much makeup. I'm kind of makeup free majority of the time so that's why I don't really have that many. Anyhow I'm going to get right into it. I'm going to start out with my only nail polish favourite. I don't think I've had a nail polish favourite in quite a while actually. I have two this month. So the first one is this colour here by Ulta 3. Um, I don't know if you guys can see. I'm kind of not sure if I'm in the frame. But it's called Strawberry Sunday. I think I've already mentioned this in a past favourites video. But it gets another mention because I really 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 like this nail polish. It's just a a bright kind of bubblegum pink but the formula on it is amazing it doesn't chip too badly um, I always have problems with chipping but this nail polish is actually pretty good so I really do like that and I got that in my sample bar a couple of um, months ago it might have been either December or November I don't remember but I'll leave um, a link down below to my sample bar playlist if you want to check those out and my other nail polish favorite would have to just be in general, the Sally Hansen Complete Salon Manicure line. I don't have my actual one that I have on right now. It's called Paparazzi. I don't have it with me at the moment, but I just love these nail polishes full stop. This one's called Strike a Pose, and this is just a really pretty opalescent kind of blue colour. But I really, really love these nail polishes. They're so smooth and easy to apply. They're not streaky. Um, and the brush, I don't know how well you guys are going to be able to see this, but it is an absolutely huge brush. Like, it, it's really easy to coat your nails with it. But I absolutely love these nail polishes. I got these for somewhere between 5 to $8 from, um, might have actually been 4 I know they were really cheap from Posty Plus, so definitely if you have a Posty near you, definitely go and check these out. So another favourite that I've really been loving, again, not too sure if I mentioned it, but I've talked about it in plenty of videos, it's my Revlon Brow Styling Gel. And this is absolutely amazing. It's just a clear gel that you can run through your brows to hold them in place. I haven't actually used it today, so I'm going to just go ahead and put some in for you guys but I really really like it I just think it's a nice way to kind of hold your brows in place and as you guys can probably tell <clears throat> I have extremely unruly brows and this holds them in place really really nicely uh, and again I got this from Posty Plus it was either six or eight dollars so either way very very cheap especially for Revlon so I really do like this uh, if you're in the market for a brow gel definitely check this one out. Alright, so the rest of my favourites are all for the face. So I'm going to start off with my one high-end product. And this is my NARS blush in the colour Matahari. Now I bought this from Strawberry Net a couple weeks ago. Well, actually no, it would have been at the end of December I think. But I wore this every single day after I got it for a very, very long time. It looks like this. It's a really, really pretty kind of... Kind of like a pinkish purple colour. I really don't know how to explain it but it is an absolutely gorgeous colour and if you're in the market for a nice kind of matte blush that gives you a really natural flush this is a beautiful beautiful brush, blush to try. <laughs> now on to drugstore. I only actually have two products to show you. As I said I haven't really been using that much makeup this month. One of them would definitely have to be my Maybelline Fit Me Bronzer. I don't think I've mentioned the bronzer, I've mentioned the blush, but the bronzer is actually really nice as well. This one is in medium bronze, and as you can see, it actually is really, really light. I wouldn't personally use this as a bronzer, like doing the 3 and the E kind of thing, because I, for one, don't do that. But this is too light, and it's quite 
glowy so I love to use this as a blush it's what I've got on today just a really nice way to get like a bronzed kind of glow it almost contours a little bit because of the color it is um, and it does give you a highlight so it's really really pretty and my final favorite would have to be my Maybelline fit me powder I do have it in two different colors originally I got it in 210 which looks like this um, and I just recently got another one in 115 which is a lighter shade and I feel as though this one um, will match me better all year round and because the foundation that I'm using is slightly too dark this kind of makes it more my skin tone so yeah either way I really really like these powders um, I apply it with a flat top brush just pressing it into my skin and then I buff it through doesn't ever get cakey on me it looks amazing it does give a fair amount of coverage which is good just to kind of top it all off and give me a little bit more coverage and it does have a mirror and a powder puff in there which I really really like some people don't really like powder puffs but you can just repurchase them I think it's really great if you want to go you know take this with you put it in your bag I just said poop pop it in your bag if you're on the go just so that you can touch up during the day um so if you're having to have two different powders so yeah, I would really recommend these to you guys. Alright guys, that's it for my favourites of January 2013. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any requests, post them down below. Any recommendations, post them down below. Um, and yeah, don't forget to like this video and subscribe. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye!